All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. Uh, I have a, a, a small group of people that honor me for the work that I do. Um, and, and they, you know, they say thank you a lot, um, you know, for the ministry. The information that I provide to them has helped actually um, put a spark in their life to help change their lives. It's from time to time, um, I, you know, I, I'll have people that will send me things. They will send me things. They will send me offerings. Uh, they will send me gifts. Um, uh, I mean, in, in many different forms. And I do appreciate each and every last one of you. And I truly do thank you for your support. Today, I got something unique in today. As a matter of fact, I got something unique in to get today from a very faithful brother. The first thing I got in is a Ron Paul one ounce copper coin. Ron Paul. Isn't, isn't that a beautiful? Look at that coin. Is that not beautiful? And then he sent a one ounce silver Ron Paul coin. Is that not a beautiful coin right there? Is that not beautiful? Look at the back of it. Look at the back of it. Try to get in there and get it to focus for you. Look at it. Is that not a beautiful coin? This is a Ron Paul one ounce coin that comes from Provident Metals. It was sent to me as a gift today and I do appreciate you brother, you and your family for honoring me and sending me those beautiful, beautiful gifts. Now, for a note on silver here for a second. You know, it's no secret um, that I'm an advocate of you storing your wealth and preserving your dinner table uh, in tangible assets. Um, and I mean tangible assets, meaning gold and silver, not paper and ironclad slugs. Um, now, I, I tell you, um, you, you've been hearing me talk about, okay, two, three, four, five hundred dollars silver. That's just gonna, that's not gonna be uncommon at all. But I tell you, there are some people out there that are a whole lot more optimistic than I am. They're talking about silver going into the thousands and actually going to parity one to one with gold. And if it does that, I mean, you're talking about going to the moon, the roof, and everything else. But I will tell you this those of us who understand history, we will not repeat the same mistakes of the past. And those of us who understand, history. Because when we can look back into history, we can see forward into the future. And our financial future is looking very, very bright because we have been wise and we are preparing ourselves. And it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Um, we're going to be able to help out so many faithful people um, that, that, that really, truly understand and get it. And let me give you this wisdom right here. You know, the times that we're living in it, it, is volatile. You know, we're seeing the civility of man erode from our culture each and every single day. We're seeing greed take over left and right while people are, are getting into the survival mode. Um, I think that this time that we're living in right now, you need to be very, very careful how you deal with people. Uh, you should not be in the process of destroying relationships. As a matter of fact, you need to gather some maturity about yourself and learn how to build relationships. And I mean learn how to build quality relationships, not because of a selfish spirit, because it's really truly in your heart. Most people can't manufacture that because, you know, they've been negative about everything in their life, um, you know, and they don't know how. They've been nothing but destroying everything that's been in their past, burning bridges in every relationship possible. And I understand that most people just do not know how to do it, but you need to surround yourself with intelligent people so that you yourself can be an intelligent, so you can be intelligent, so you can also uh, help others. Because that's what this thing is all about. It's all about helping others. That's where you actually get the most peace, the most contentment, and the most happiness in your life is when you position yourself to love others and to help others. And mind you, listen to me, do not allow yourself to be a doormat for everybody out there who has a false sense of what you call brotherly love and brotherhood and friendship. Discern and know them that are with you, that labor among you, and especially those who so-called they, them yourselves, friends.